Find the tire injury. Mark the injury on the inside and outside of the tire using a tire crayon. Remove the nail or other penetrating object from the tire. Check for any unseen damage. Apply Rima Prebuff Cleaner around the injury. The cleaned area should be slightly larger than the repair unit. Scrape the cleaner away while it is still wet. The cleaner will remove mold lubricants, sealants, coolants and other compounds from the repair area. Repeat this process until the area is free of contaminants. If the area is not properly cleaned, the repair unit may separate from the tire inner liner. Probe the hole with the awl. This will help you gauge the angle of the injury and the amount of damage to the tire. Using a slow speed drill or air tool less than 1200 RPM and the appropriate Rima carbide cutter, ream the injury. First, from inside the tire two or three times, then from outside the tire once or twice. You should now have a clean round hole free from any steel wires. Mark the area to be buffed. Buff the inner liner. Use a slow speed buffer and a 36 to 60 grit buffing rasp. Do not use a buffer that exceeds 5000 RPM. It may scorch the inner liner and cause a repair failure. Buff to an RMA number one or number two buff texture. Clean all debris from the inside of the tire. Use a brass brush to brush away buff particles on the buffed area. Vacuum around the buffed area several times to make sure the area is perfectly clean. Apply the special blue cement with care. First, apply the cement to an awl or pull wire and insert the cement into the prepared hole. Next, brush an even coat of special blue cement on the buffed area. Stipple the cement into the surface. Take care to ensure an even coat of cement. Allow the cement to air dry. Do not use hair dryers or any other drying unit to dry the cement. To assist the drying time, rotate the tire so that the injury is on top, near the 12 o'clock position. Test the cement for dryness at the edge with the back of your finger. The cement should feel tacky, but not wet. Once the cement is dry, release the beads of the tire. We'll make a repair using a Mini Combi single piece repair unit. Remove the Mini Combi carefully. Do not contaminate the surface. Note, if necessary, cement the injury channel again to make the Mini Combi insertion easier. Insert the guide pin through the injury channel. Use pliers to pull the guide pin through the hole. Release the pin and grasp the rubber stem of the Mini Combi and continue pulling. Release the stem when the base of the Mini Combi slightly dimples against the inner liner of the tire. Thorough stitching is important. Stitch from the center outward. Continue stitching until you're sure that no air bubbles remain and the repair unit is firmly in place. Use Rima Tip Top Repair Sealant to completely cover the repaired area. Extend the sealant onto the overbuffed area. This makes a complete seal around the repair. Mount the tire, inflate to recommended air pressure, inspect, and trim the excess stem so that it's flush with the tread. Do not pull on the stem. Buff if necessary to produce a smooth finish.